Are we live? Going, we're live. Does it look like we're live? We're live now. And why isn't that showing up on my screen? There you are. Hey, everybody. Hey, Patsy. Hey, Barb. I see Matthew Deal. Thank you for joining us. I know that Selena's here. She was at, like the first one to join us. Sonia. It is frozen on me. It is frozen on you. I will present myself then. How about that? And my hair is everywhere. Y'all, I'm looking rough. I just got back from shopping all day. And so, and no, I didn't wear this out. <laughs> not yet anyway. I have not done this yet. But y'all, you will learn what this is soon. Hey, Dia. So we have 17 people in here. Not everybody said hello, but that's okay. You want to give us a thumbs up? That'd be great. We are going to sit here and have our jewelry jar in a chat. I've got a few things that I've been ordering online on eBay. Um, some things that I ordered from Patsy Patricia. She's in the, I mean, Patsy Patricia, Patsy Crafty, which is Patricia that is in the chat. And y'all need to go and uh, check her channel out because she makes ugly Christmas sweaters. And that's what I'm wearing right now. But she also sells jewelry and does pop-up shops and stuff. Hey, Thrifty Santa. <laughs> let it go, let it go. Hey, Miss Darlene, Kathleen. So, yeah, I'm going to show those things, and Casey's going to show some things that he's been purchasing lately, and we're just going to stay here and talk and see what we can figure out about our story and stuff. <clears throat> Hi, Flippin' Mama and Jill. I'm getting a little bit of feedback, Casey. It may be your speakers again or something. Hey, San Juana. Did I already say that? I might have said that. But okay. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Thank you. Thank you, Santa. Uh, you can go first. Okay. Well, since it's locked on me, I wanna, I'm going to try to show y'all. This is my ugly Christmas sweater. And it's got the bear on the front. And it's also got a bear right here. And it's got the feathers. It's got these little feathers here. Me and Casey were saying, I feel like uh, the Grinch because he has like that green fur on his. Or maybe this is a Whoville sweater or something. What it looks like. But And then I put my little Marvin the Marvin, Marvin the Martian Christmas pin up at the top there. But this is my sweater that I got from Patricia. And y'all guys, you can get one too. If you'll go check out her channel and email her, she can make one just for you. Also, I had ordered some jewelry from her pop-up shop. I'm also going to share some Christmas cards that I got too. And let me see if I can find a particular one that I had purchased. And then I'll show you some of the extra goodies that she gave me. Hey, Francis, you love my sweater. <laughs> hey, Barbara. And if I'm missing anybody, Casey, you just go ahead and say hello to them for me. Um, I will. Hi, everybody. Those were from eBay. There it is. That's the one that I purchased. The rest of it was extra stuff. We don't want to sit silently. Um, Idea. Hey, Kathleen. Uh, you, you like my sweater? Thank you. What's that? What's that? What's that? You're sitting over here all festive, and I'm just over here in Old Navy church clothes. <laughs> I told you I was gonna wear my sweater and do this. I, I don't have I don't have Christmas clothing. That's why you need to contact Patricia at Patsy Craftsy. I asked you will hook you up. Okay, so everything she sent me comes in these cute little bags that say thank you and everything. But the one that I had purchased from her um pop-up sale was this beautiful sterling silver cross and it does have a stone that looks like aquamarine in the center of it. 
and I do like crosses too. I have a few that belong to my mom and my grandmother, but here's one that's just for me. So that was the one that I ordered. The way you say Dia, Casey makes me smile, she said. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Probably so kind of sexy the way you say it. Yeah. I just made my husband run in here to see your sweater. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> so with that, and I may have ordered, well, yeah, I think she sent some of these with the sweater and some of it with the jewelry, but here's another pair of really, I should have wore these because they're red, but they do have really floor, like oriental. Yeah, they do look very oriental. Flowers on the beads too. So those are really cute. They look like, um, they look like Asian lanterns. Yeah, yeah. And then here's another pair. This would have went with the sweater too. I just went and stuck on some earrings because honestly, today I didn't have anything on but the studs because I was just romping around in a uh, t-shirt and sweatpants trying oh, to do all that cool. shopping. Yeah, they have really cool rhinestones in them. Like these have that kind of aurora borealis effect to them. So I got these two. So nice freebies. Thank you so much, Patricia. And then these snowflake earrings. And then also she said she makes these stick pins. I guess you could also use them like a hat pin. But she makes them out of little beads and things. That's and jewelry. Funny. And then. <laughs> She, says, she feels so good that I'm wearing her masterpiece. I mean, how creative is this? And you know I love teddy bears, so I, I'm digging it. I am digging it. And this is like brand new with tags. It's a Leah Sophia necklace that was in there, and it has the cat's eye stones there. And that came in the little little bag like that and then she's so sweet I was I was gonna buy this from her but she sent it anyway it's this cute little perfume bottle oh, oh I like that and they're glass and metal and then it has the little dauber in there for the perfume so now I can put some of my favorite perfume in there and then stick it in my handbag and take it with me and I like the um I like the perfume decanters, the ones with like the little daubers. They last forever. Yeah. And I don't know. We'd have to ask Patricia if she can get some more. But if y'all are interested in these, maybe she can sell you some of these. Hi, Angie. Hey, Angie and Maria Carmito. I'm not sure if I've seen you here before, but thank you for joining us. Hi, Bianca. I'm your rescue. After trying to bring myself to go live, I was just about to push the live button, but then I saw you were live. Oh, no. Well, we want to see you live, too. And then she sent me this cute, oh, my gosh, it is adorable. It is a teddy bear, and he's wearing a bunny rabbit outfit. And so you can put his little ears on like this. And then he even has the little rabbit nose, little mask that you put on like that. And now he's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> and they're called Wee Bear Village. So I'm going to check them out and see, like, if I can find some other ones. Because I love little miniature small things. And he's so cute. I want one that's like a little geisha. <laughs> right? Maybe they have one like that. I'm not sure. Also, jewelry-wise, I ordered this one off of eBay. Got a real good deal. I like stars. This one's sterling. Oops, 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 oops. And it has the star and the amethyst stones in there and the marcasite and then the little heart there and the dangles. That dangles. Oh, that's pretty. Where'd you order that from? I got this on eBay. I, I snagged it up on an auction that nobody, I guess, had paid any attention to. And I got it for, I want to say, less than $10 shipped. This is my first and, time seeing it. And it's vintage and it's sterling. Yeah, I hadn't showed anybody. I was saving it, saving it for tonight. And let's see. I also ordered these 
to sell because I probably won't ever wear them. Let's see. Thank you, Barbara. These are parrot earrings and they're all prong set little rhinestones and they're pierced, but they're parrot earrings. Oh, wow. And look, they're, they're like pretty large size. They'd be wild with this sweater too, huh? And their the tail when we go uh, a bit. when we go vacationing in the Bahamas, right? Mm -hmm. Or Cancun. I wear them in Cancun. We were supposed to be talking about going to Mexico. Yep. Thanks, San Juan, for reminding everybody to give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And that might might finish off what I actually got. Well, there probably are a few pieces upstairs. Also, I've been ordering some bougie bear clothes. Yeah. Because I want to want to have some more outfits. But this one's actually someone actually crocheted this one by hand. They had they had them in different colors and stuff. So I ordered this little sweater for one of my bears. Do you know that that reminds me of that meme that went around the other year about is the dress blue and brown or is it black and gold? <laughs> I don't remember that. On oh, my gosh. It was the worst meme ever. No one could agree on what color it was. <laughs> Thanks, San Juana. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. To check the chat. Everybody's talking. Okay, so I also, before I hand it over to you, I had a lot of cards come in for Christmas, and um, I wanted to say thank you to everybody. So this was the nice note from Patsy, from Patricia, and um, thank you, Patricia, for everything that you sent. I do love it, and I do adore it. And um, Dia sent me a card as well for Christmas, so I wanted to say thank you to Dia for my Christmas card. Um, let's see, Lynn, Lynn B, she sent me a Christmas card as well. It says, be merry. And she even included some cute little stickers and stuff. So that's really cute. Thank you, Lynn, if you're in there. I don't know if I saw Lynn in here tonight, but I wanted to say thank you. And then San Juana sent me one as well, and it's really pretty too. And actually, the funny thing was, I believe I picked out these same cards <laughs> that I was using for um, my Etsy store and stuff, but it says home for the holidays. So thank you, San Juana. And hey, John. Dia, there, there's no excuse. No excuse. No, I'm joking. I know <laughs> a lot of you don't have my address. <laughs> Can't film in Cracker Barrel, probably because of the music. Any place that you guys got music in the background, we learned that lesson that you have to be careful about it. Let's see, I'm gonna stop presenting. And so now it should flip back and forth. You wanna talk and say something, make sure it's doing that. Hi, everybody. Oh. It is me, Casey. And I don't know if it is swapping over or if you are still looking at April's beautiful, beautiful face. Um, <laughs> There it is. Oh, yeah. Swapping over to me. Yay. Um, no, and I didn't think that to show the um the Christmas cards, but Sam Juana sent me one as well for me and mom and mama. And it said, Casey, I love you more than anyone else in the jewelry community, but don't tell him. No, I'm joking. Um, it was it was a very sweet card though. I absolutely love it. We have it on our kitchen table with um with our Christmas centerpiece. But um, if you want to send me Christmas cards, definitely send me a message and I'll give you my address. Um, I love I love getting cards. But um, as far as the jewelry goes, I would have done a jewelry jar, but it's more of a jewelry tackle box. The mm -hmm. one um. <laughs> the 13 pound box that came in i couldn't hold out i had to open it and the most expensive thing that probably came out of the box are four class rings 
Um, I did find some really good pieces in there though. Like I found this swan brooch and the back of it, it does have the, the V right there. Let me mm. kind of cover my face. There we go. Yeah. And these Logitech cams do seem to search for the face, but, um, it's got mother of pearl. Let me see it. She needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. So there was her. And then I got this one and this one I've got to clean up as well. This one is crown trafari. And this one is a pretty one. But you can see it's got some some discoloration that I've got to clean up. Um, I know you guys, um, my fingernail <laughs> beds were starting to feel bruised. So I literally, yeah, we, we both ended up cutting our nails off, but they'll be back soon. <laughs> it don't take my nails long to grow out. Um, but I don't think that I will let them get that long again. They start, they started to hurt. Um, I did get another, uh, it was a three pound box that I got from eBay and I'm so glad that I did not open that on webcam because there was no hiding my disgust. Um, I told April that it literally smelled like somebody took. You called it basement something. <laughs> dirt and mixed it in with <laughs> cigarette butts. <laughs> and then poured it into a basement floor and then wet it. And it was just the nastiest smelling thing. I gave it to mom for her to use for crafting. She'll have to like soak the bag in bleach. But um, <laughs> it was just disgusting. But the best thing that I got um, was not from eBay. It was actually when April and I went, went um, thrifting. I got a pair of these cute earrings here. They're like little knots and they are Les Bernard. Yep. And Les Bernard's a good designer. And they you. are in perfect condition. There you go. So there was those. And I showed these yesterday. I think it was yesterday on um, Cindy's channel. I got these Coro watermelon raviolis <laughs> and you can see they just fire off so many different colors let's make sure to confirm that technically they're not raviolis they are rivolis <laughs> just so, you don't put that, so somebody else does so go tell somebody else that that's what <laughs> no they are not really raviolis they are rivolis and um i got these napier earrings here which i think i got these at i found these at goodwill maybe the week before last yep i think we did but all of this stuff that i'm showing now um i'm actually going to be selling saturday we did i did find this beautiful beautiful vintage cloisonne bangle it's on the inside and the outside and you pull it apart but I need to take some toothpaste to it because you can see the um, the brass right. does have some some kind of uh, oh gosh what would you call that? It is kind of like tarnish on tarnish. brass. That's yeah. I didn't think of it. Um, what else? Ooh. So these are some of the items that you're going to take Saturday with us to the vintage um, uh, market thing that we're doing this weekend. We're going to actually set up yes. a table for the first time inside of a little uh, vintage marketplace that they're doing a little Christmas, you know, sale thing. And we're going to have our own table. Now I showed it yesterday on Cindy's channel as well. The Christian Dior heart necklace that I have, but I also found these Christian Dior chain link clip ons. Mm -hmm. You've had some luck with Christian Dior lately. I know. I was so happy, but I'd have to say that my my most favorite find is this Goldfield 
brooch and it's a um, cameo and it is a left facing cameo. Very pretty. Yeah. Love it. She's super pretty. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Thanks for joining us. Um, the other stuff that I have, I think I pretty much have shown it at one point or another. Um, yeah. Except for this, I did get this um, in friend mail and I haven't done the video for it yet, but I'll do it now. Frankie sent me this and it is Monet and it is a beautiful brooch. Yep, very pretty um, mid-century one. Mm -hmm. And for now, some reason, it kind of reminds me of a Christmas wreath. <laughs> yeah, it does. Now, I know when we were digging through that other box the other night, we did find some matches on those earrings and things. Did you get those um, cleaned up or anything yet? No, I've still got to go through all of those. Um, oh, I did get one of the matches out. Not of the not of the dirty sewer water box, but um, the 13-pound box. April and I found these. They're faux pearl. They're really pretty. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, what was it? There was a designer pair that we found the match to that you were really excited about finding the match to out of that um, box. Just so that y'all can get an idea. This is all the stuff that I've got to go through out of that box, all except for maybe two two or three of these things but yeah i've got to go through this whole box now there was um this pair here i've got to clean them up because one of them it feels kind of like cloth and it needs to either be repainted or something but they're art and i do have the other match i just don't have it i'd have to go dig through the box but it's like um seashells and little orange thingies mm -hmm. yeah that one's really pretty yep debbie said she knows that we'll have fun at the event it'll be exciting and we'll we'll both sell a lot and then hopefully find some great deals while we're there <laughs> hopefully hope we so. will i hope there is another vintage jewelry seller there I want to make lots of money so I can go get some more jewelry. I've got to get some jewelry <laughs> for the beginning of the year for when we start auctions again. That's the name of the game. <laughs> Sell some, buy some. Sell some, buy some. Yep. Let's see if it'll flip between both of us now. But that was really all that I'm I had here. other than jewelry that they've already seen before. So I don't want to you know, show them stuff that's already been showed. We do have multiple Angie's, uh, Dia. So get, this is Angie, and then we have Angie that's Treasured Vintage as well. Did she join too, or I don't know if I saw the other Angie. And then there may be another Angie that I don't know of, so. The Monet brooch, what shape, Jill asked. It was, um, it almost has a wreath shape and it's like a mid century piece. Yeah, um, that's it right here. Let's see if I can get it up there. Y'all see me fighting with my tackle box, I can't get it to close on one side, but um, that's what it looks like. And Frances said to tell you that she sent the Monet flower brooch through Frankie. So is that the one that she's talking about, the one you're showing? Um, or did you get a flower one? Mm -mm, this was the only one that I had received. <laughs> you don't and like if my you sent, one? If you sent this to me, Miss Francis, thank you so much. I have, um, I didn't know who sent it. 
it's got a Christmas ornament there. Yeah, she's saying that it, she bought it from uh, Frankie to give to you, apparently. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Francis. Yeah, it didn't have a um, it didn't have a note with it. So I unfortunately wasn't on the entire auction. So I honestly did not know. So thank you for that. Yep, yeah, that's awesome. So that's most of the jewelry. And while well, that is, you know, unless you got some more and you want to show it, because I don't think I have anything up. Mm -mm, that's all I have. Um, let's see. I wanted to show you some of the th items that I bought today. I might as well do it while everybody's here and let them chat and let them talk to us and everything. <laughs> Mike says he loves the sweater. Thanks, Mike. And some of these things, she actually made them like this. It's removable so that I can actually, it's on a pin so I can take it off and use it, you know, for other things. And I can remove him. He's held in place. I can remove him from the front of my sweater. But yeah, I wanted to like grab that box real quick. So you, you keep them entertained. I'll grab the stuff and then I can just show you the kind of stuff that I bought to set up our table with to do this. Event. Oh yes. Cause I haven't even seen it yet. Yeah. I need a bigger tackle box. This box here that I bought Okay, Patty, just in case they ever have to send us an email now. And Texas gal. Hey, Lynn. What we read, and you read out loud so I can hear. What did you read about Texas gal? Oh, um, just sharing. I missed the, um, I missed something that was said, but talking about just in case it ever happens. Everyone, Cindy has my email, so I missed it. Oh, okay. Okay, just okay. Yeah, I missed it too. Somebody has somebody's earring, so that's just them talking amongst themselves. Um, and another thing that I got today says my daughter's going to prom. And um, I figured she might want to wear a headband. I was at Walmart and they have, you know, their clearance aisle. This was normally $9.94 and then it was marked seven. So I was thinking that's a good deal anyway. But when I got to the register and I rung it up, it was $2.50. So it's a pretty rhinestone headband. So I got that for her while I was there. Let me open that up, show that. She may tell me she doesn't want to wear it, but I thought she might want want more bling bling. She's like me. She likes the sparkly doesn't stuff. Want to wear it, girl. You know, I was talking about getting a tiara. Right. <laughs> I'll wear a tiara. <laughs> okay. So one of the things here was I went and I got this at Walmart. Let me take this. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that sticker's going to take some work getting off because when I took it, when I tore it. <laughs> It really didn't come off cleanly, oh, but so it's a nice big standing mirror and it does have the five times on that side and the other one on this top side, but it also adjusts the height of it adjusts so we can actually heighten it like that Casey and it'll be actually taller. I wish we, um, I wish we could get some of those lights like those ring lights. Mm hmm. And that way people will be able to look at themselves and, and lighting that's not the, the standard. I like bathroom lighting. I don't know, but for some reason, bathroom lighting makes everything prettier. I think that's why everyone takes selfies in the bathroom. Thanks, Dia. I'll try that. I, usually I'll take alcohol too. Rubbing alcohol will usually get those stickers off. So here's some Hobby Lobby. Most of the stuff I bought, I bought at Hobby Lobby. But I found these really pretty bottles. So I've got the blue one because, you know, I like this kind of color, this blue color. And then I've got this goldish one here. Ooh, I like the gold one. Got these two tall bottles. And because, you know, like I know I've seen Thelma do it with jars. You know, you can put bangle bracelets down on them and bracelets and stuff. So that's what I was going to do on the table. We were going to set these on the table 
and slide like the bracelets and stuff onto these for display, you know, and to hold them instead of using like a standard bracelet bar or whatever. I thought that would be that would be cute. Thanks, Barbie. I am festive. Dia, um, I would say the same thing, but she's got a gigantic red decanter. Where the is that red? Where is that red decanter? Like that? Well, see, Dia, the purpose is, is I have to store it somewhere, and of course, it's going to be stored in my house, so at least it will go with my decor. <laughs> it makes it dual purpose. <laughs> And instead of having one of those little plastic little holders that holds your business cards, I got one of these that's generally used, you know, to prop like a like a plate or some sort of thing on it. And I'm going to stick the cards on there and put them on the table just to hold the business cards. So I got that one. I bought some little sprigs of things so we can make it Christmassy, you know. So I've got a couple of different little things like that. And, you know, one technique that I've heard of before, you know, like when when uh, when they say you want to make somebody buy like food or something, then you then you create a smell maybe with a candle or something like that so that they smell it and they want to buy it. You know, they want to buy cookies or something. They smell it. So I bought a candle, which no, it can't smell like vintage, but. <laughs> it can smell nice <laughs> and it's called snowfall and they had them 50 percent off at, at hobby lobby and it's really clean and fresh and and i love it it smells really good but i thought that would create a nice atmosphere around our table that might be inviting you know to create some you know something to pull people in you know i don't know this is my first go round, so i'm going to try my best to uh figure out how to be successful at this type thing. And so here's some more of the little berries and things to decorate the table and give it that Christmassy look. And then I bought some of the uh, poinsettias like this to also decorate the table with. Oh, I like those. Yeah, they're very pretty. And wouldn't they make, like after you're done with them, like a cute little hair bow thing or something? Like I could, hey, look, I'll do it. Right. Senorita. Yeah, there we go. Girl, you look like Carmen Miranda. <laughs> so, and then I bought some more. That's where I got my bags from, Casey, was Hobby Lobby, the little zippy bags. Uh -huh. I know you I know you said it's better, quali uh, better quantity to get them on um, Amazon, but since I was there, I just went ahead and grabbed some more. You know, to put the jewelry and stuff in. So I have that stuff. Um. Ah. Uh oh, the berries are caught on the sweater. <laughs> We're about to have an accident. <laughs> Let's see. My thing isn't working. I wish I lived by there to go to that fair. Oh, I think cherry bear. Yeah. Do they have those in your area? Do they have like vintage uh, little markets and stuff that they set up for seasonal things? Well, this is caught on the bag too. Let me get this. So I bought this necklace stand for the table to put the necklaces and stuff on. And, you know, I was looking for things, you know, with uh, that aged look to them. That they looked kind of vintage, and then this one here they had. And Casey, this one's kind of cool. Let me take this flower out because it's about to fall. <laughs> oh, no, I want to leave it there. I have so much glitter in my hair, you just don't know. <laughs> this one is only it was only $11.99, but I used my 40% off coupon that you can use for um, one purchase. So I got 40% off of that. This is for the earrings because it's got the wire like Cindy was showing that she uses in that little picture. Uh -huh. And so you can just hang the um, earrings and stuff in and there. You, got this, you said from Hobby Lobby? It was really one of a kind. <laughs> yeah, all this, 
Yeah, it, I was only at two places. I went to Hobby Lobby. Well, I say two places, but I had to go to the post office. Uh oh. But yeah, um, yeah, I totally forgot what I was about to say. Hey, look, I can put this on the top because it has a little hole there. So we can use that to decorate this one with. Okay, so that's that. And then I bought some tissue paper so that, you know, when they purchase their jewelry, jewelry, we could, excuse me, I got indigestion. We can wrap, wrap that up in the tissue paper and then put it down in their little bags. And mm -hmm. I, just, I just got, um, I got some of these, uh, you know, like when kids are making little treat bags for parties and stuff. I just grabbed those bags. I so, got some of that stuff. Uh, she got some while we were at Dollar General the other week. Mm -hmm. So these are great. You know, we just put it, put, wrap it up, put them down inside of there as their bags. See, and they have, they come with the twist tie. I don't like, I don't like holiday printed stuff. I like neutral stuff. That way I can buy a lot of it and use it all year long. Thanks, Barbie. Nora says she needs to go to Hobby Lobby. Yeah, the earring holder is very uh, handy. Hi, Anita. And, and oh, Angie is here from Treasured Vintage. Hey, Angie. And she said she likes the props that, that I chose. So these two here, let me put my camera. I can't see what I'm doing. These two here is because I promised a few people some cupcakes and cookies and stuff. So those are like the, you know, treat treat boxes and stuff. That's what I got those for. And then I found a little candy cane kind of looking. Um, oh, nice. that's, that's for us to plug our tree into. I haven't showed the tree yet, but um, Hobby Lobby had some wire, like lit trees that were, they're probably about four or five foot and it's on a stand. I'm going to plug that tree in with the lights on it. And then I think I'm going to hang some jewelry, some necklaces and stuff from the tree as well. To kind of hey, catch Carla. it. And, oh, I bought the, uh, just the little gift labels like this. If we think we need them, I figured instead of like doing the little uh, twist tie around the bags, we could probably just use the stickers and stick them on there to close the bags with those. And then I got two of those little pop-up storage bins like this in case we needed, you know, to carry stuff in these. That way we could put all our supplies and stuff in there and make it easy for us to carry it from the car to, you know me, I'm overthinking things probably, but <laughs> I'm trying to be prepared. <laughs> That's a cute cord. Yeah, it is cute. They had those at, ooh, is that? I'm not sure if I got that from Walmart or Hobby Lobby, but it's one of the two. Are we bidding on April? No. <laughs> Maybe we can make a guess how many how many things are glued to the sweater. <laughs> it went all out. Someone is excited. So happy for y'all. <laughs> Thanks, Dia. Um, and then y'all have these. There are 30 of them, and they weren't super expensive. I can't honestly remember the price, but 30 of those velvet, uh, velvet covered hangers, Casey. Uh huh. So I got those, of course, for the vintage clothing. If we do end up bringing the clothing rack, then then we've got nice hangers. And then we're gonna do we're gonna do the table covers in flannel, flannel table tablecloth. Oh, I do love the checkered flannel. Yeah, that's like a flannel shirt. I thought those were cute. So I have those. Hi, Dwayne. Did he leave or is he here? He's here. Oh, hi, Dwayne. So um, this was cute, too. They have these, um, $2.97. They're little tins like this at Walmart. And they have the little slot there. But um, I figured that uh, maybe we could do like a little basket of candy on the table and maybe put like five cents or something 
like that for kids. Huh. So that way, you know, they could buy, you know, if the kids wanted candy or something. Paul Ron's like, why are you going to charge? I said, I don't know. I see stuff like that all the time when I go to little places like that. My kids are always like, Mama, you got a quarter? You got a, you know, you got this, you got that. So I figured they we do it at the Mexican restaurants. Yes, they have the stuff there at the register like that. So I just thought, you know, hey, I saw it. I was like, ooh, I need it. And so I needed a purpose for it, I guess. That's probably the truth. But, <laughs> but the top comes off and you can stick stick stuff down in there. But um, we do need something to use for money, for cash money. Did you ever find out if you had that box? I'm sorry, what? Ruby Granny Gale. What'd you say, April? Oh, the money box. Did you find out if you still had one of those boxes so that we can take cash? No, but I will. Um, and mom, if she's still watching, she may be able to answer. Um, but if not, I can probably find a cheap one at like Walmart. Dwayne said that he wanted to ask, what is up with the craziness around my neck? It's not just around my neck, Dwayne. It is all over my body. These are the ugly Christmas sweaters that Patsy Craftsy makes. And you can order them from her channel, you know, order them from her and go check her out on her uh, YouTube channel. So I ordered this one from her and you can also order jewelry and she does pop up shops. And um, I'm not sure if she sells online anywhere exact. I think eBay maybe, but that's is in the chat so she could answer those questions for you. <laughs> oh, Cherry Berry suggested we could use the tackle box for cash. I would have to take everything out and I don't have anything to, to harbor all that jewelry. So if you can't find the box, maybe we'll get, get a tackle box then for, or it'd be I don't know. I don't know how box. much those little metal ones cost. I don't know. Like eight bucks. Like $8. Okay. Well, I didn't even see them while I was there. I should have looked. I didn't think about it. They got them at Walmart. And Carla said she won the ugly sweater contest contest at her job at work girl no i'm sitting here wondering what the what the heck of a gene is um, what exactly of a gene who's talking about that what's a gene a troll oh <laughs> so yeah hey, hey lynn i showed the christmas cards from everybody and i said thank you but I want to say thank you again for the Christmas card that you sent me. And she said you get a better deal on her YouTube channel. <laughs> she had to do a catwalk in her cat sweater. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. They wanted to see your bobs in the jean. My bobs? These bobs? <laughs> <laughs> My balls. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> hey Anita. Troll with bad spelling. <laughs> a vagine is similar to a vagin, except it's different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Feathers flying around my face. <laughs> I'm like, <"Woof." laughs> I think we should do like we should all make ugly sweaters. Yeah, I'm like loving this. It's fun. Somebody asked me, was I going to walk around in public like this? I was like, yeah, for Christmas. <laughs> I mean, not like every day, but yeah, for Christmas I will. Just like I walked around with my Halloween look, you know, all day. I remember that one estate sale that I went to one time. I bumped into a sweet little girl and she was dressed um, from the like the 50s and stuff. And she looked adorable, but that was like her everyday attire. She always dresses vintage. Oh, thank you, Debbie. I bring out all the illiterate 12 year old trolls. Oh, that's bad. 
I need a teddy bear crown, Patty Feb said. <laughs> well, thanks, Patty. And hey, Patty, I don't think I said hello to you. And Debbie thinks that you've lost some weight, Casey. I have. I have lost about 30 pounds since September. Um, I don't know. That's your body. I don't know. <laughs> have you? <laughs> well, it's been about since September when I started this journey. Because I've been more active, I haven't been like sitting in front of. I probably gained everything that you lost. <laughs> Barbara said, "At least they're not the balls aren't flying around my face." <laughs> I'm gonna keep my mouth shut on that one. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, anybody want to do any shout outs to their channel or? or something they have planned or going on any advice for us for our first little you know set up at a booth type thing at an event carla said she's split with me what does that mean <laughs> casey huh there, okay, I thought I lost you. They got deathly silent. Different um, channels, too much more lucrative. No, Lynn, I'm really not sure. I'm, I'm honestly not sure what's what's causing me to lose weight. I mean, I'm not like stress eating all the time, so that could be a, that could be a big factor. <clears throat> Mike said, "Don't forget, it's his 500 subscriber giveaway this Saturday." So the video that he posted today, you have to go and comment. You have to be subscribed and like on the video. And then I believe he's going to do the random selector. And it's going to be a $50 Amazon gift card um, that he's going to email. So even if you're outside the United States, you will still be able to get the $50 Amazon card. And don't forget to get hand warmers. Well, Dia, that's a good idea, but I think on this one, we're inside. We won't actually be outside, so we won't have to freeze. <laughs> you can see Jim's cat shit on the husband tag on my channel. <laughs> that's what Carla said. Barb, go check out Barb going on Grumpy on her YouTube channel. And Patty Feb said, make sure that we bring snacks and water and bring some change. That's good. Yeah, we got to not forget to go to the bank and get cash. So we've got to do that Friday because we probably won't get to the bank before it closes on Saturday. Yeah. You're welcome, Mike. Bianca said, what would what would be the best time for me to go live so I don't have to do it in the middle of the night? And it's a good time for you to watch. Time difference is mostly between six to eight hours, I think. I would say, Bianca, two hours ago till two hours from now, you should be good, and all of us would probably be available to join you if you go live. So within two hours before now and two hours from now, anywhere in there, I think you would you would find that we would all be able to join you. Okay, and then Barb's doing the MSP auction this Saturday. Don't forget to join and see what she's got because I know she gave us a sneak peek of some of her um, her Native American jewelry that she was going to have. And I guess some other things that I might have missed even so you can go back and check out her channel and see what she shared with us when she did her last like pop-up sale. But yes, her and um, Carol. Carol, yes, Bargain Shop and Carol. They will both be on there Saturday selling some great items. Okay, so yes, like 12 o'clock your time to probably about 4 o'clock your time or 4.30 your time, Bianca, would probably be good for you. Let's see, what time is good? My daughter has 4 p.m. dental appointment. I'm doing a live pop-up shop tomorrow, question mark. That's Jill. <laughs> You're welcome, Barb. 
And Barbara wants to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year filled with lots of joy and love. She says, I don't have access to everyone's address, so I can't send all the cards I'd like to. And Cece says, eight minutes left to buy and three pop-ups on my channel. So Cece's doing pop-up shop. Same to you, Barbara. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I got all the, uh, <laughs> reading all the messages, keeping up with all of it. Did you see anything I missed, Casey? Um, no. Other than Bianca said that the time frame that um, two well, hours sure prior. You can come further back too if you want to do it earlier in the day. I'm sure you could do that. And Cindy said she's sorry that she's still at church right now. That's okay. We understand. And 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 Dwayne wants to remind everybody that he hates jewelry. He says that, but you know, I bet when he's not on camera, he's got on like three pair of earrings and a necklace and a brooch. <laughs> okay, this is that. Uh, where did it go? I just lost it. Oh, Jill. Jill says she's having a $3 jewelry, mostly vintage necklaces and antique ornaments and real eggshell ornaments. That's the, I guess that's what she's going, going to be selling on her channel. Depends on if it's weekend too. Yeah, that's true. On a weekend, you can pretty much go live whenever. So. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> what was told in confidence, Casey? That Dwayne likes to dress up in jewelry. Oh. <laughs> and he'll sit there and sing, I feel pretty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then Cece says, don't worry, Dwayne. She's got some non-jewelry items for sale. Okay. So, Casey, do you want to say anything else or anybody else want to bring anything else up? Because if not, I think I'm going to eat the rest of this food that's gotten cold over here. Because <laughs> I've been dying to eat all day. Um, I don't have anything to say other than if you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and go subscribe. Um, and I love you all. And thank you so much for coming and joining and supporting April and me. Yeah, we do appreciate everybody always showing up and chatting with us and being there for our auctions when we do the auctions and everything. And like I said, we will try to um, maybe film a little bit, show you what our table looks like once we get it set up Saturday and then maybe do a quick little once around and see other people's uh, tables and stuff. If we get a chance to do that or we got good service, I'm not even certain how well the service will be there. But we will definitely try to do that, even if we have to pre-record it um, right before everything starts. So y'all have a good evening and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.